they've already allotted a place they think is the right distance from a sun or light and heat source. Uh, and therefore, the chances on it will be all the advantages of the life that we had down here in, on Earth. Because <clears throat> it's all to do with how far you are from the, the sun. And that's where they're going to go. So that's a covenant. That is like a, the, the, you know, the, the settlers that came to the United States. You can think about it that way. They'll come across the sea, land, and have to deal with the indigenous people if there are any. So when they arrive, Ironically, expecting indigenous, there are none. They're all dead. They see a dead planet. When we arrive there, the planet is a is a is a de dead planet. Is a haunted house, where the only thing on it you've got is you've got no life form except plant life, trees, and you know air. You've got air. You've got you've got no animals at all. As it were, every every form of the pathogen kills every form, if you like, meat. Whether it's insect, whether it's human life, it kills the meat. So you, you, without any population whatsoever, that's how you begin. I think ash was a kind of original idea that, you know, of in the, the AI, every ship has an AI on board. And to make it a little bit more user-friendly, the AI seems to be human. So you're not talking to a robot, okay? So, but no, nevertheless, the, the ash was a robot, Ian Holm. Um, in this instance, our AI on board this ship is Walter. Walter is absolutely the doppelganger, the double of David. And so when we see Walter, we think it's David, then we realize it's not David, it's the doppelganger now called Walter, who's another AI. So we're now in flight on that one, and he's the housekeeper, and he walks around, checks things out, never has to sleep, and doesn't age. Uh, when they finally land, to cut a long story short, and they had a bad encounter on the planet, even though the planet is kind of wondrous and spectacular and, and kind of threatening in its scale, uh, at a certain point in there, they meet this stranger who turns up out of nowhere, fundamentally guides them out of a problem, and the guy, when he gets into where he takes them, which is a town, a village, a city, a city that had been destroyed. And once they're inside in safety, he de-hoods and we see David. And he did something, somebody who was physically imposing, tall, athletic, and hopefully a good actress. And she's special. I think what's interesting, both she and Crudup, Billy, come from the theater very much so, and it was the, f I'm, I'm sure I've dealt with people before from the theatre, must have, but they weren't theatrical in that sense, but they very much brought to bear to their technique, their, they can, their knowledge and sensitivity theatrically. Because, you know, when you're doing a film like this, which is constantly people dying and constantly stressful and has to be in constant show of fear. You know, there's many colors of fear. And there's many colors of remorse and many, many, many colors of everything. And you know, a person who's had theater background, they dig deep and can pull that out. So they helped enormously in that respect. I really enjoyed working with both of them. I had to have something in addition to the usual suspect, because I didn't want that to wear out, and I wanted to save him to be exclusive with him at the end, because he's the xenomorph, comes out at the end. So the neomorph is the one without the armor, in white, whitish flesh. He's evolving quite well. You probably you haven't seen him yet properly done. He looks pretty great. Um, and uh, so it's a it's a new a new form of creature. Yeah. I hope it's really scary. I hope it's. Uh, Get you very uneasy. I, I hope your your veins start going, your arteries start going. I hope your heart starts pounding. I hope you have a very dry throat. But you got to watch, got to watch the screen. Hey, sci-fi movie fans, did you like that video? Well, 2017 looks like it's going to be an awesome year for the sci-fi genre, with some great upcoming t titles, including Life. 
Ryan Reynolds and Jay Gyllenhaal are among 10 astronauts cultivating some seeds of life discovered on Mars. At first they are excited, then ecstatic and then very very worried. As it turns out, it might not only destroy them, but if they return to Earth, everything there too. The Dark Tower. Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey top line this Stephen King adaptation. Alien Covenant. Catherine Waterston and Danny McBride are among crewmates on the good spaceship Covenant who find what looks like paradise, but turns out to be a much less friendly place. Its sole inhabitant, David, the synthetic person played by Michael Fassbender. What sci-fi movie are you most looking forward to this year? Let me know in the comments below. Keep up to date with all the latest releases by subscribing to our channel and checking the notification bell. See you next time.